Hey there, fellows. Let's try an electrical experiment in this one. And revisit an episode we did a while back. Back then we were just getting started in the old garage. And older viewers might even recall how we made one big battery out of a thousand little AA batteries. We have a few of those right here. And the goal is to determine the minimum amount of batteries required to start a car. Yum! Let's do it. Let's see how many you need to start. Here's a car, might as well use it for this one. Okay, let's get to it. So if you haven't been in our merch shop for a while, we have added a bunch of cool new stuff. Such as these handmade wallets and holders made out of genuine leather. It's a must-have for any dude who needs a reliable and convenient place to keep his documents. We also have an assortment of t-shirts, caps, and key fobs with a fresh design. There is a lot to cover, so better you head on over to our shop and check out what we got. For anybody who places an order right now, I'll slip in a card with my picture and my personal autograph. Make sure to use PayPal to pay for your order, so that it goes through with no issues. Add something new to your collection of Garage 54 merch, and receive a card with my autograph. So head on over to our online shop, and the link of course is going to be in the description. How many AA batteries does it take to start a car? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay guys, so check this out. We've taken a car battery, cut it open, removed its guts, and installed a few baffles. Those allow us to neatly position the double A's. Now in order for this to generate 12 volts, given that these are 1.5 volts each, we need to make a row of 8 batteries. Laying down row number 1. Alright, we've got the first row of 8 batteries in there. Or on each side, connected by the plate. And that should give us an output of 12 volts. Okay, I'm seeing about 13 volts. Eh, no big deal. I mean, a car battery is always going to produce a bit more than 12 volts anyway. Now we'll start by trying to light this automotive light bulb. Will it work or will it not? No need to reach inside, I can just... It works, great! It lights up very well. Now we'll take these wires. I've got a starter motor right here. We decided not to install it straight away. We'll keep it here for now. And the idea is to find out how many batteries it takes to at least get it turning. We'll hook the cables up to this. The other end goes on the starter. And let's give it a go. That's the positive terminal, let's see. Well... We have sparks. A bit of them. But even without load, it's not enough juice to get the starter going. Okay, now we've got 16 batteries. That's two rows with eight each. The light bulb is obviously gonna light up no problem. Yeah, there it goes. Nice and bright. Now let's get the positive end hooked up to the starter. Lots of sparks. But it still won't move. Let's install another 8 batteries. That's a total of 24 batteries. Let's give it one more try. Will they get the starter moving? Oh yeah, there it goes. 24 batteries, and it is turning. Even if only barely. Is the solenoid gonna work? Yes it is, look at that! Awesome! And if the solenoid is operating, that means we need to hook up a positive wire to it as well. All of this does work simultaneously after all. 
Right, we're running three rows of batteries, 24 of them in total. The starter is hooked up. I've got a bridge. And now we see how the solenoid and the motor itself will cooperate with each other. Success, check that out. The solenoid and the motor are doing their thing. Now we've got 32 batteries, and hopefully the starter motor speeds up. We are about to find out. Hit it. It's only quicker to trip the solenoid. I am not impressed. Oh, wow, I was wrong. Could it be time to fit it to a car? So the 32 batteries really got it going. Now let's add another row. 40 batteries, which is how many? 5 rows? 8 batteries each? Let's give this a try. Wow, not bad. I suggest... We stop here. Get the starter to the car. Let's do this. Well, let's go. Nope. Couldn't handle it. We are currently running 48 batteries. Let's give this a try. It did move slightly, but then it stopped. Okay, well, let's add eight more. Okay, so that's another eight, bringing the total up to 56. Let her rip. Doesn't want them. Now we're at 64, let's have a look. Not enough. 72 batteries. Still ain't having it. Well, let's add another 8. That's 80 batteries. Still ain't having it. That's weird. 80 batteries and the starter still can't turn the engine. I think we need to check the current. See what these 80 batteries are good for. Oh, holy cow. How much was the peak value? That's a pretty decent current. But it's not quite enough for the starter motor. Hey, no sweat. Let's keep adding more. Eighty-eight. Nothing. Ninety-six still isn't enough. Nope. Let's check the voltage. I mean, 120 batteries is already quite a lot. Oh-ho. Okay, so that's interesting. We're at 120 batteries, but the voltage has dropped from 13 to 12 and a half volts. Anyway, we've already got 120 in there, and here's what I suggest we do. That box certainly has enough space for 120 batteries, so let's remove all of them and put 120 fresh batteries in here. And carry on with the experiment. I think that's the right way to go. Okay, so we've replaced those batteries. We've got 120 fresh ones in here. It's all good. Now we just put the battery into position. Okay, let's try this out. Well, it appears that indeed. We fitted 120 new AA's, and they slightly turned the engine. Now, the reason I don't want to keep going... The batteries are losing juice, and so I suggest we add another layer straight away. That'd be 40 more batteries. So we're going from 120 to 160. And that might be enough to start this car. So yeah, one more layer and try again. Uh, 
160 cells. Let her rip. Nope. 200 batteries. Go for it. Did you turn on the ignition? Mistaken. Let's go. Now we've brought the number of cells up to 308. And that is quite an enormous number. Now I really do think that this one is going to be the charm. Is it on? Ignition is on. Let's try this out. Hooray! It runs. Is it gonna charge though? Why are you looking there? Did the warning light go out? Now, I don't think these batteries were meant to be charged, but we'll still allow them to recharge for a bit. I don't think anything bad will come out of that. Switch it off. Off. Wow, that was pretty... One more time. Switch the ignition on. Let's try that again. It starts, look at that. Shut it off. Let's see what these are capable of. It's that this engine is also eager to fire up. I'm not sure how much the starter motor is pulling, but that we can actually measure. Switch it off. A drop to 8 volts is totally normal. Yeah, the alternator is really working wonders, isn't it? Yeah, screw it, a little bit is also something. Okay, turn the ignition on and let's try one more time. We are seeing a decent drop in voltage. Come on now. What, it's not gonna start anymore? Like, for real? Come on, come back to life. Oh no. Yes! They had another start in them after all. And I already thought that's it. But it was actually able to start and that's nice. I mean, it was only able to do it oh so many times. But what if they are recharging? Let's we'll see if they are. Turn it off. What do you guys think? Are they recharging? They write a lot of stuff on fences, too. But you look and there's firewood. Well? Let's see this through to the end. Come on. And that's a wrap. No, well. Yeah, we're definitely done. Even this many batteries can't take this amount of startups. But we did get the engine running, and it only took 300 batteries to get there. But when we had a thousand, we started engines, welded, to the point we even melted electrodes. They gave us an enormous current. And though we did see a drop in voltage, the current uh, kept everything going. In terms of using electrodes, and it had no trouble starting a car. But I mean, a thousand batteries is really a whole lot. This time we were going for the minimal required amount. And now we know that the number is 300. We pretty much had to fill this entire car battery with double A's. So it was full in the beginning and we filled it back up again. 
It's not like we only covered the bottom. And there you have it, 300 batteries. Remember that number. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.